I don't even know if you can hear me. The wind is ripping right down this coast. It's hard to work that shaky head when you're drifting eight knots. Fish on, pretty good one. Yeah, pretty good smallmouth. Look at that. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go, fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Trips. So I just got here to Alton, New Hampshire, which is where I'll be staying for the next week. And I'm actually staying in a pretty cool place. My buddy Ed Perry hooked me up with his friend Tom Roberts. Well, Tom Roberts is letting me park the trailer on his property in front of his cabin for this week. And the significance of Tom Roberts is that I'm actually right here at Roberts Cove on Lake Winnipesaukee, where I'll be fishing this week during my time here in New Hampshire. The Roberts family, Tom Roberts family, they kind of laid the groundwork for really this part of New Hampshire. So I'm here at Roberts Cove Basin Marina. This is where we'll be launching our kayaks. We might take the boat out. And I just got into town, but I wanted to come straight here before I got the trailer set up and check out the marina, meet Tom, and maybe do a little uh, light tackle fishing right here in the marina, see if we can't catch some fish. Yeah, excited to be here. I think we're gonna have a good time in New Hampshire. Ed Perry will be here tomorrow. Let's see if we can't yank a fish out of this marina first. Nice, and look at that very first cast. Just hooked up with a fish on this little crappie jig. Uh, this is a rock bass. These are actually invasive to the area. They're a known pest here in Lake Winnipesaukee. A lot of people really want to get rid of them. But uh, yeah, super fun on this ultralight. Got it, got to dance this crappie jig in front of his face and, and he smashed it. It's not a bad sign when you uh, catch a fish on the first cast of the trip. Look at that, second cast of the day, and I just stuck a little yellow perch. Maybe my third or fourth yellow perch I've ever caught in my life, and probably, maybe the biggest. <laughs> I've not had a chance to fish for these guys. Only caught a couple on accident, but beautiful little fish. I mean, we're right here in the marina in two feet of water, and I'm sight casting it fish with this little crappie jig. Oh man, New Hampshire's a blast already. See ya, buddy. <laughs> So much fun. Another rock bass. <laughs> Too much fun. <laughs> Come down here to the marina to check it out and uh, caught three fish and five casts. <laughs> Just an absolute blast. Water here is crystal clear. This lake is gorgeous. Lake Winnipesaukee. Don't ask me how to spell it. People call it Lake Winnie, so that's what I'm gonna call it. But uh, I'm low, look at me, I'm all smiles like a kindergartner. Just got a bunch of small fish. But yeah, any kids that are watching, got a little pond near you, a little creek, a little anything, go buy you some little marabou jigs, little crappie jigs. Tie that on to like some six or eight pound fluorocarbon and lightest rod you got, Spider-Man rod, it doesn't matter. You will catch fish in little bodies of water like that. Promise you. Doesn't matter what species lives in there. Everything small will eat a crappie jig. Just bounce off the bottom like you saw me doing and uh, hang on for the monsters. <laughs> Oh man, this area at the southern end of Lake Winnipesaukee is just absolutely gorgeous. There's wildlife everywhere. I got dozens of turkeys right here in the yard, all around my trailer. Some of them have chicks. Got these baby turkeys roosting in this tree with their mama. We've seen loons out on the lake, which is actually the state bird of New Hampshire. Butterflies, chipmunks, we've seen deer, you name it. This place is beautiful. It'll probably switch directions on us right when we get done. Here fishing with my buddy Ed Perry. I'm tucked away back here because the wind forecast seemed to have misled us and it is ripping out there. And this is a gigantic lake. It's full of landlocked salmon, rainbow trout, lake trout, all kinds of stuff. We had big plans to go out on the big lake and try trolling deep water 
for some of these fish. But it's white capping out there, something fierce. It's a big lake and this wind is not going to be very forgiving. So, the key to being a good fisherman is adapting, going with the flow. So we're going to scrap that plan. Woo! Gusty. We're going to scrap that plan, fish the coves, the docks, see if we can yank some smallmouth bass out of here instead. pedal in place just to try to kind of slow my drift we were feeling a little defeated by this wind but uh you know hey the bite's on so this little guy is a rock bass we are hiding back in this cove it is ripping out there on the main lake it's hard to work that shaky head when you're drifting eight knots fish on pretty good one yeah pretty good smallmouth look at that there we go now there is a decent little smallmouth. Look at that guy. Oh man, the wind is ridiculous. It's getting a little bit bigger there. Got a little smallmouth, little rock bass, and uh, throwing this square bill around these rocks. This guy just hammered it. It has been a tough morning. Hard to get by. It's hard to feel your line. Hard to work your bait right. But uh, there you go. Submit this guy in the fish brain app. Well, I would say I've got these uh, baby smallmouth dialed in with the wacky Senko. Well, the big girls continue to elude me, but we're having no problem catching numbers here on Lake Winnipesaukee. Caught a bunch of smallmouth, some rock bass. Uh, I think we're gonna kind of call it. All right. Not the most successful kayak fishing trip of all time, but uh, caught fish pretty quick despite the wind, but we're done fighting it. Uh, it's not fun, not efficient. Got the rod runner. The runner. This one's pretty slick, man. All right, so we're hiking through the woods right now, trying to find Knight's Pond, which Tom Roberts told us we could go there and maybe redeem ourselves after a tough day on the lake. But we're lost. We can't find it. We've turned around like three times. We are starting to despair. All right, well, we're about out of light. But well, we found Knight's Pond. Let's see if we can't yank a fish out of here before it gets dark. Like there's a path all the way around, but there's nowhere to cast in a lot of it, you know? It's crystal clear. Oh! Nuh-uh. Nice, bro! Come here, little buddy. It's a monster, largemouth. <laughs> it's freaking huge. He ain't giving up. So now you're done. Come here, buddy. Definitely got a long arm, this one. Hey, man. Oh, oh, oh! Didn't even get the hero shot, dude. It's all good, though. Got the skunk off. Yeah, man, nice. They're in here. Save the day at night's pond. <laughs> yep. Oh, me too. You on too? <laughs> oh, dude, we are wearing about. We're all joking. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <He> got away, <laughs> dude. What a wow. Mine's still on. I'll catch these things all day, though. These are fun. With the sunset <laughs> in the background. Monster. It's a monster. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> See you later, bud. Well, dude, we've made like three casts and caught. Three fish, pretty much. Tom wasn't joking about the spot, man. Yeah, he said it was We're on. Passing into two feet of water, I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah, maybe it's all small fish, but maybe not, man. We find a little deeper water. Might be a few, few hogs up in here, as the kids say. That doesn't sound good. Oh, that looked like a decent one. Nice. Is that on that crayfish pattern again? Yep. Oh, that's bigger. It's respectable. Ooh, there you go. Need a little better. That's a nice one. This little guy. Oh, look at you. Get that in the sunset. Monster. Nice. Give me the long arm. Finally got a decent little bass out of here, but it's been pretty much non-stop action. I think we're talking about coming back tomorrow. Maybe walking around, trying to find some deep water. See if we can't find a little bit better fish, but that one's not too shabby there. 
word. Creature patterns for the win. Hey, don't run down that. Don't run. You might fall. Rod runner works for all types of rods, even the professionals. Will came locked and loaded. Will brought uh, everything we'll need to catch fish down here. All right, so we're back here at the trailhead to uh, Knight's Pond. So now we're going to go check it out, walk all the way around it. We got Ed's brother, Phil, has joined us. And his son, Will, who's uh, chasing white birches right now. But we're, uh, we're about to go down there, see if we can't put him on his, is it, would it be his first fish on a lure? First fish on a lure, yeah. Yeah? First fish on a lure. No night crawlers tonight. You found a what? Log. You found a log. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of those. We're in the woods. This is awesome. This is awesome. You guys, you found a log and it's awesome. It's a nice log, dude. It's heavy. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. That is a nice log. Will likes the uh, white birches. Yeah. The white birch trees. It's his favorite tree. What is that? Is that a white birch? Yeah. Will got himself a white birch in the woods. Yeah. Careful, careful on these rocks. Watch where you're stepping. That looks How pretty... long is this trail? Yeah, it looks pretty heavy. If you quit picking up logs, <laughs> it'd be easier. You ought to keep the white birch and ditch the other one. <laughs> What'd you say? I eat my birches. <laughs> I need them. Ooh, a white birch. <laughs> I need them. <laughs> oh my god. I need more white birches. His teacher is gonna hate us. I need white birches. He's gonna go scream. <laughs> go back to school screaming. I eat white birches. I need white birches. <laughs> oh, kids. No white birches were harmed in the making of this film. <laughs> It is a lot of water, yeah. It's beautiful back here. Oh yeah, back in the honey hole. All right, we'll let you guys know. You'll probably hear me giggling like a schoolgirl. All right, we're gonna hike down here. See if we can find some other little holes we can try to fish. Why don't you fish here and I'll, uh... oh man, it goes up. Looking for that honey hole. Got one. <laughs> Look at that first drop. Wacky Senko, man. Little guy, whoops. Sorry, bro. One drop, one fish. Can you go two for two? Yep, I'm on. Two for two. <laughs> Dude, this is a good one. Much better one, bro. Oh, I'm looking at one right there, bro. Oh, I'm looking at four, five. Throw these back far. Look, three for three. I guarantee you right now. Look, it's gone. Got him. Three for three. Dude, this is like cast to, cast to catch times three. I haven't even stopped recording yet. That's pretty fun. You're out. Oh, me too. <laughs> That's <what we> got. <laughs> got him. That is too much fun, dude. Every drop. So you'll throw it out? Oh, that was not very good. Can you see the line on the water? You want to watch that. If it starts moving real fast or, or jiggles like that, it means there's a fish. Maybe we got a bite, yeah. Daddy, I got a bite. There we go. Decent one? Yeah. I mean, everything's relative. Here we go. One after another. Doesn't matter what you throw. Any small salt plastic. Tons of fun fishing here. Just non-stop action. Place is beautiful. Pristine, tranquil. Great way to spend an evening. Damn well. This is the place where you can last cast like till midnight, I feel like, because it'll just yeah, keep, you keep catching fish. fish. Yeah, I mean, I caught 20 bass. Like, that's a fun day. I don't care who you are. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this episode of Field Trips for my time here in New Hampshire. I cannot thank Tom Roberts enough for all the generosity and hospitality he's shown me during my time here. Had an absolute blast chasing smallmouth bass and rock bass, a little bonus yellow perch. But it's time to move on to the next leg of this journey. We'll be heading to Maine. Just got the trailer hitched up and... Uh, I will see you guys in Maine, and next video there will be a huge announcement. The biggest thing that's happened at Field Trips since moving into the trailer has to do with this young lady right here. I'll tell you all about it <clears throat> next video. We're heading to Maine right now where we'll spend the next week chasing Striper, maybe going out 
for a day picking up some lobster. It's going to be some cool stuff. See you on the next one.